Hello. I don't know if this camera's in focus because my eyes aren't in focus. And why the hell is that? Well, I've had a fun couple of days, I've got to tell you. A uh, fun few days, in fact. So, what, what, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. All right, Saturday night, I was sitting working at my computer and I got a spot on my vision. Kind of there relative to the center focal point anyway and it looked kind of odd slightly psychedelic slightly ethereal kind of there but not and i kind of, say kept an eye on it but as it was in my eye you know i kept paying attention to it and it did something very strange it the best thing I could describe it as was a psychedelic ethereal alien spider ripped its way into my eye and spread webs everywhere. That's what it looked like. It just, there's a spot, then it kind of went and then just blobs and threads and crap and lightning and flickering and light shows and all kinds of shit that you don't expect in your vision. And my first thought was, that's a migraine. And Andrea's first thought was, that's a migraine. But she looked up loads of stuff. And uh, we sort of did self-test, if you like. And the, the telling one was, when I closed that eye, there was no, no problem whatsoever in this eye. If it would have been a migraine, it wouldn't have mattered which eye I was looking through. I would have seen all the weirdness and um, it didn't it was just in this eye so we went off to A&E um, but pff, it was a Saturday night we were there for several hours got triaged and then just left there and in that period of time Andrea was googling on her phone and the whole light show thing settled down and it it settled into what was clearly a mass of floaters which are, is where the, the vitreous gel on the back of your eye breaks off and it can break off in clumps. And I've had that before in the past, in fact several times, and I'd seen a, an ophthalmologist for it and had been told, yeah, don't worry about it. So I decided, okay, and from what we read we thought, okay, this is not an immediate dangerous thing, so we'll go home rather than sit there and wait for an a, a, a and e doctor to look at it and say, yeah, go home. So we went home and I went to my GP on Monday who just referred me straight to the eye clinic at the local hospital who I saw yesterday. And he had a good proper look at it with the slip light and everything and sticking a big fat bastard lens right so it touches your eye that's not fun and then shines a slip light in there and said okay you need laser surgery and you're gonna have it right now <laughs> no no time to prepare myself no no mental preparation It's just like yeah go sit out there and we'll call you into this other room and they lasered me there and then um, which was it's an interesting experience because, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what it, what the thing is before I go into anything else. So, yes, I had had the gel on the back of the eye. It's what they call a vitreous detachment. Your eyeball is full of gel and fluid and the gel can break down an amount. And it's there. It, it, it holds your eye in shape an amount and it also holds the retina against the back of the eye and it can degrade and bits break off but sometimes when they break off they remain attached and they swirl about and they tug on the retina and they can tear the retina and if the retina tears it can then detach and then you go blind um, so I'd had the, the gel detaching and the gel tugging on the retina and yes it had torn my retina um, which is what all the flashing was, was you know um, it hadn't detached so yeah he, he lasered it which just kind of fuses it back onto the back of the eye and then the natural healing process makes it a more permanent fix hopefully 
Um, so that was yesterday. I had it all lasered and everything. And uh, he wanted me back in again today because he'd seen a couple of blobs of crap floating around in there, which would suggest they were bits of detached retina or stuff that were attached to the retina that have come off that would normally you he, he looking at them and seeing them there he would have expected tears but he couldn't see them so he he asked me back today and he was going to have another look for them and laser them but he still couldn't find them so he's referring me to Hallamshire hospital where they will do this other thing and it's a thing i've had done in the past where they bung you on the slip light again and poke oh that hurt <laughs> they, they they bulge your eyeball inwards they, they get a probe and push it and push against the eye wall to make your eye bulge inwards and hopefully make any tears more obvious and then I hope laser them and not actually do physical surgery because the prospect of that terrifies me yeah so, um, and the laser, the actual having it lasered is not a big deal. Um, you kind of sitting there with your head in the thing, chin on there, I, uh, you know, like that, and the nurse is holding your head so you don't move. And he's got this lens thing up against your eyeball, and you just see a very bright green flashing pulsating light. You're unaware of it being a laser, it's just like bang, 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 bang. And then he does it, you know, and I was in there having that done for about 15 minutes. Um, it's not traumatic, but it does leave you feeling kind of spaced out. Um, and then when you step away or sit away from the thing, you just can't see shit. <laughs> like, you're not quite blind, but it's like um, everything was green and then everything was red. It was like having a big coloured filter over the lens, and you could, uh, it was just highlights. Only, only things that were particularly bright I, I could see, and everything else was just a mass of green and or red. Um, but that settled down very quickly. And my vision, my vision now is actually piss, it's, it's pissy, it's shite, because I've had drops in and both. Uh, can you see my pupils? I don't know how well they're showing up, but I've had the drops in to make my pupils big. I look like I'm on drugs. Yeah. So I can't see very well. Um, but that is nothing, you know, that, that'll wear off. That'll take about eight hours for that to clear. I would have been having a driving lesson today, but I'm not now because I can't see properly. Um, but I'm hoping none of this will hinder my lessons in the future. It's going to be a few weeks till I go to Hallamshire. I'm hoping that he's going to be after me driving test and then I've got to go back to the local hospital in about seven weeks to, so they can have another look at it all. <laughs> it's not a bundle of laughs. So yes, my, my message in all of this is if you ever find yourself with a strange spot or spots on your vision suddenly have a mass of floaters and are getting flashing lights even if they stop after a while do get checked don't assume it will be all right i've assumed it would be all right in the past and i've probably been very lucky um i mean because I, I got it checked out the first time it ever happened i got it checked out and they said no it's just the jelly coming off the back of your eye there's no damage you're fine don't worry about it and i assumed that's what it would be like every time because it's happened a few times since then and i never bothered to go and get it checked not a good move if i hadn't got this one checked there's a pretty good possibility i would have lost the sight in this eye um yeah so if you ever get a sudden mass of floaters or any of the other symptoms get checked don't mess around don't assume it'll be fine because it might not and that might not the, the, the price is too high don't risk your eyesight just because you think eh, it's nothing because sometimes it isn't okay shutting up now thank you for watching